Hi everyone out there in the world who's looking. My name is Johan E. Skoglund and I'm from Sweden. I have a YouTube channel where I usually post in Swedish, uh, well I've only so far posted in Swedish, where I make reviews of CDs. I'm a freelance writer who review mostly concerts but also sometimes CDs. And I have a personal uh, interest in music, it's my great hobby. And since I now I'm going to review the new Dolly Parton CD, I thought I'd also make an English video of the new Dolly Parton CD, my review of it, and see if I get any subscribers. So here goes. The new Dolly Parton CD, it's called Pure and Simple, and it looks like this. And the standard edition of Dolly Parton's new CD, Pure and Simple, features 10 songs, all written by Dolly Parton. Eight of those are, as I have managed to scrape online, completely newly written songs. Two of those are not. They are re-recordings of two duets she did in the early 70s together with Port Wagner. This version I have here of Pure and Simple is the deluxe edition. I don't know if it's visible online, if you can see it, but it just says two CDs. And I ordered this one from England. The Swedish edition, deluxe edition, features a bonus disc of 10 of Dolly's greatest hits. I have not yet uh, found out how they are performed. Are they greatest hits performed in original versions? This is live versions or so. But with this disc, I know. The first disc of this CD features the deluxe edition, pure and simple, which gives us 12 tracks. Dolly's music and the bonus CD is a live, a live recording of Dolly an hour-long performance as she did on the last number festival in 2014 where she does mostly her own songs but also a couple of covers have snuck in the first CD pure and simple takes its name from the opening track of the CD which also is the name of Dolly's current tour in the United States and she claims herself to be a pure and simple person and I suppose she is in a way uh, and uh, this CD features mostly ballads. They are soft tone ballads. She delivers them in a kind of uh, new grass, soft grass, bluegrass fashion as she did on, for instance, the Halos and Horns series in the beginning of the OOs. Uh, she, uh, there are no particularly fast songs. Some of them has a bit of a rhythm to them, but there is no track here. If you like the track Blue Smoke, the title album of her one of her latest CDs. If you like that track, you will not find any one of those here. These ballads are not the best Dolly has written. I mean, Dolly Parton doesn't write bad songs. For heaven's sake, she's Dolly Parton. But uh, there are there are her recent albums has garnished with us like uh, uh, backwards backyard uh, backwards Barbie and so on has garnished has, has treated us a lot more better songs than are on this CD. However, there's not a bad song, and I like these songs, and they are performed with uh, a band which featured musicians of her, of her touring band, plus some of Nashville's A-list players. And uh, I should, however, stress out, perhaps, on the, uh, with some of the musicians from the CD. And it's she has also produced the CD. She has written, arranged, and produced it. Co-producers are Richard Dennison and Tim Tom Rutledge, who are two of the musicians in the band. Um, so moving on to the second CD, uh, the live. Uh, I should probably say that uh, I should. I should just say about the first CD that the musicians are great. They perform in lush uh, environment. Some uh, environments or some backgrounds feature some strings, like you know, like soft strings, like string orchestra. But it's mostly just a violin. There's no particular visible of any steel guitars or anything like that. No drums, it's just a bunch of rhythmics uh, around her. But it, they work in these simple settings, these songs. So this is probably not something that's going to get a lot of airplay on commercial radio. I think uh, most of the tracks, this is not country. Uh, the second CD she features with something called the Mighty Fire Band. This CD kicks off with a live medley of uh, her own baby I'm burning, Great Balls of Fire and Alicia Keys' This Girls on Fire, the CD set says. But I cannot for the life of me hear anything of the old Jelly Lewis chestnut Great Balls of Fire. Maybe she sings part of the lyrics to another melody, 
but I was expecting Baby I'm Burning to go over to, you know, to the Great Balls of Fire classic with the piano and everything. It does not. Now, after that, she delivers cooking versions of Why You Came In Looking Like That, Jolene, Blue Smoke in a long version, Coat of Many Colors, then another cover, it's the Buddha Briar Brothers Rocky Top, her own mud song, a song that has not previously been heard. It says 2016, so I guess it's new. Banks of the Ohio. And the Bear Man Sintia, well, here you come again. And Two Doors Down. Uh, she does Islands in the Stream, which where she has help from one of her male members of the band to sing, and a lot of background vocalists also sing with her from her band. From band. She does 9 to 5. She finishes off the whole set with a rousing rendition of Will You I Will Always Love You and between 9 to 5 and I Will Always Love You, there are 14 tracks, track 13 is a cover of Bon Jovi's Lay Your Hands On Me which features Richie Sambora as a guest and this live CD is awesome there are a bit of crowd noise as should be on a live CD, it's not disturbing at all uh, she talks on the tracks, there's not like on some live CDs that they are between the tracks but so for instance, the version of Electro uh, of I should say Blue Smoke is five minutes long, but it's only four minutes. The last minute of Blue Smoke she uses to introduce Code of Many Colors. She talks to the audience, asks them to sing along. It's noted that she notices that these are her dedicated British fans, and this is a very good CD. I think that this is one of the instances where the bonus CD outdoes the original CD uh, by far. So you could say that what you're getting here is a uh, astonishing live CD with Dolly Parton live from Glastonbury 2014 and as a bonus you get the new, her new album of 12 songs. This is for the second CD that I keep this CD. I will surely listen to the first CD a lot too, but it's the second CD that gets me going. This is music you can clean to, do the dishes to, this is music that gets me up in the morning. This is, this is the type of joyous country that I associate with Dolly Parton. The other CD is more reflective. The accompanying booklet features lyrics to all the new songs on CD1, so you can read them and see. And they are sort of, I mean, the titles does say it's pure and simple. Say forever you'll be mine, never not love you, kiss and make it all better, can't be that wrong. Uh, tomorrow is forever, head over high heels, forever love, mama, loving you. The title says everything, these are pretty mental love songs. And Although I don't quite, as I said before, are totally satisfied with the songs on the first CD, Dolly does still have it. This is classic Dolly as good as it gets, and we shall be thankful that she continues to release CDs as good as this one, where she does, uh, which she does, and that she brings us, her fans, loads of new music. And I don't, I probably haven't said it before, but I don't grade my CDs. I see these reviews as, 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 more of a tip or corner where I say this music I like, so there's no grade for this CD. But as you already know, I think the live CD is better than the uh, studio. In this case, thank you for watching, bye bye.